In this tutorial, you will learn how to insert images into your ID card template. First, let's import a fixed image from a file. Click the colored image tool. Then, with your mouse, draw the approximate image area. Select fixed image from file. And then browse to select your image. More than 20 image file types are supported. Click the select button. Then click OK. To add a background to your card, double click off to the side of your template or click the document properties icon. Check background image, then browse. And select the file. Alternatively, import background images as a separate layer to use blending effects. Click show layers. Click the plus button to add another layer. Then click the down arrow to move the layer under other layers. Design layers stack like sheets of paper. Click the image tool. And draw an image box. Select fix image from file. Browse and select the image file. On the properties tab, uncheck maintain aspect ratio. And click OK. Next, use the stretching tool to stretch the image to the borders of the template. Finally, the opacity of the image can be controlled in the Layers dialog. Now let's add a variable image from the database. Hold the Shift key down while you draw the image area and you will draw a perfect square. Most photo ID cards use square photos or a 5 to 4 height to width ratio. Select variable image from database. Then select your image field. In this instance it is photo. Select the live data checkbox to see the template with a database record. If the image background is reasonably consistent, ID flow can remove it. Double click on the image. On the properties tab, check remove background. And give the feature a tolerance. About 10 usually works well. Background removal works best when images are taken with a blue or green screen backdrop. Hold the shift key down to resize while retaining aspect. Alignment tools help you place your objects. Repeat the background removal process to remove the background from the logo. Alternatively, variable images may be pulled from a file. Select variable image from file or internet. Click Insert Folder Path, and select the folder. Next insert the database field or fields by which the image is named. In this case the image was named by first and last name. ID number is also common. Lastly. Be sure to include the image's file extension. The fourth image item is images obtained at print time. Draw the image placeholder. Select image captured or selected at print time. To pre-configure a captured device, select advanced options. And select your camera or captured device. The placeholder will appear on the template. You will be prompted to take a photo during the print process. Note that images used in this manner will be printed, but not stored anywhere and cannot be reprinted. See the next tutorial, for adding circles, ellipses, squares, rectangles, lines, and other graphics effects.